Welcome to Christmas Misgivings. You're an elf up at the North Pole, and you've just found out there's an opening in the Gift Assignment Division. But in order to get it, you're going to have to prove you're the best gift giver by giving your fellow elves gifts that best match their interests. Just watch out for people being naughty. Players are dealt three interest cards without duplicates that go face up in front of them so that everybody knows everybody's interests. Each player is dealt six gift cards and two naughty or nice cards. Six gift cards are then turned face up for the gift exchange. On a player's turn, they have the choice of either one, swapping a gift in their hand with a gift in the gift exchange, two, picking up a naughty or nice card, or three, playing a naughty or nice card. Then, players must take one of the gift cards from their hand, attach their tag to it, and give it face down to one of the other players, along with the top card from the Naughty and Nice deck, before drawing a new gift card for themselves. Each player will do this until they've given one gift to every other player, at which point it's Christmas Day, and players reveal what they received one at a time, counting up the points the gifts were worth. Players want to give gifts that best match the receiver's interests. If it doesn't match any of their interests, it'll be negative one points. Unless it's a generic gift, in which case it'll be worth one point. If it matches at least one of their interests, it's worth the points on the card. If it matches two of their interests, the giver will get an additional two points. If it matches one of the receiver's interests and any of the giver's interests, the giver will get an additional two points. And if it matches two of the receiver's interests and any of the giver's interests, the giver will get an additional four points. There are four types of gift cards. The aforementioned one-point generic cards that anyone can get and will always be worth one point. Zero-point cards, which have two interests on them, but are largely worth nothing unless you can score some of those bonus points from them. Two-point cards, which are the majority of the gift deck. These are the cards you'll be working with the most. And finally, four-point cards, which are completely one interest. Not so easy to get bonuses with, but they make up for it by being worth more. And then there are the naughty and nice cards. Nice cards are nice. They help people out and then get shuffled back into the naughty and nice deck so they can do more good. Naughty cards do not so nice things, like steal cards from other players, and playing one of them will cost you a point at the end of the game as the card sits in front of you. And then there are block cards. These naughty and nice cards block other naughty and nice cards from taking effect and can be played whenever a naughty and nice card is played. If you block a naughty card, that's a nice thing. And the block card goes back into the deck, and the naughty player still has to put the naughty card down in front of them. If you block a nice card, however, that's naughty, and the block card goes down in front of you for minus one points at the end of the game. And so you've got to be careful. And that's the game of Christmas Misgivings, a quick game of gift giving.